it's been a, a challenging because you, you, you double your numbers. Uh, um, obviously, you know, you know training women uh, and resting them differently. It's it's just definitely been a challenge. Um, but uh, I think we, our staff is pretty pretty good. Whitney, Kristen, Jack, um, they're all pretty knowledgeable coaches and. It's a group effort getting these athletes ready. Ready. Um, we had a good fall of training. Um, the mid-season meet went pretty well, I thought. Um, you know, we've, the, the thing I was most impressed with on the women is that, that's how well they raced on, on every dual meet. Obviously, we didn't have many of them, of course, but uh, the ones we had, they raced pretty well. So. First experience, uh, especially going on, on, a, on a training camp that everybody does great work. Um, they swim at a fast pace and very often, and it's not too too much different than what we do here. So it was good to see that other people um, put in their work, um, swim fast um, quite often, and uh, because the way swimming is going, you're going to have to do it um, day in day out to to. to get to the level you need to compete at. I think one one thing they got from our program is the challenge and, uh, and, and how good our attitudes is towards uh, work and, uh, <clears throat> and and helping each other out. You know, because everybody has bad days, but can you help your, your teammate out when, when, when he or she does have a bad day? And, uh, and I think they really they really um, adhere to our core values, or, and, and it's, it's, it's good to have them in the program. And uh, it's, I, I think having Caleb, Katie, Natalie, uh, it's, it's, it's been good for, for the younger athletes to have athletes of that caliber in their practice. So it's because uh, they don't want to disappoint. Of course, you got you know the best athletes. You know, in the U.S. training with us, and uh, I think it's been going to be a good situation all the way around. My philosophy is always um, to improve. You know, how do you improve from from today to to tomorrow? How do you set up your your, your weekly plan, your monthly plan, your yearly plan? It's all about, um, and, 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 and I tell the kids this all all the time: improvement is our one, number one goal. Uh, whether it starts, turns, endurance, speed, um, threshold, you know, getting stronger, but obviously getting stronger, we, we want to see the, uh, the strength games in the pool. Uh, so improvement all the way around mentally as well. We have very good counselors here that, uh, that work with our athletes and um, they've done a fantastic job with the entire group. Dwayne Allen is, is, is one, of, one of the best on, on campus and we use them weekly um, and, and I think it's at help. It, it's it's for me it's it's you know mind, body and soul, you know. Um, the, the, everything has to tie together to get to where you need to be and, and, and as a coach, um, you know, with the athletes uh, and as a program. I just kinda hate having both groups separated. Um, now we're having them both together. Um, I think the women are going to feed off the men and vice versa. Um, and, 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 you know, throughout uh, the history of Florida swimming, we were a combined program. So uh, we're back to where we need, need to be. And um, the kids love it, the alumni love it. Um, you know, obviously, I, that's why I have no hair on my head. But, but no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, but it's been, it's been fun. It's good to have the women back with the men. History tends to repeat itself and I'm happy we're combined and ready to go.